So, welcome back. We have looked at the basics of description logics as to how you can define new concepts from a set of primitive concepts and new roles from a set of uh, primitive rules and how we can talk about relationships between them. So, let us see some languages which use increasingly more expressive features essentially and try to get a feel of what is the kind of thing that people work with. So, we had mentioned uh, these names, let us look at some of them now essentially. The simplest language as we said was the attributive language of the AL and it is described here in the top. You work only with primitive rules and concepts in AL can be the top concept, the bottom concept, a primitive concept, the negation of a primitive concept the intersection of two concepts, the for all restriction that all role fillers must come from a class C and a restriction which says that there must exist at least one role filler. These are the only constructs that we can use in AL. So, as we have said here, it allows only atomic negation. It, you cannot take a complex concept and, ne and negate it. So, when we say negation, we mean the complement. It allows only limited existential restriction that there exists a role filler essentially. We are not saying about what is the category it comes from, but at least one role filler must be there. And we can also say state it simply by saying there exists R essentially. So, this is the set of all individuals that have at least one rule filler. Remember, role filler is a relation, what you are related to using that relation R. The T box and the A box will remain the same at least for the first few languages that we will see essentially. So, as you can see, this is a very simple language, it does not even allow you to talk about union of two sets essentially, which is what the next language allows us to do. Uh, which includes C, which stands for complement. So, this allows the negation of any concept, not necessarily only atomic concepts. So, as a result of which, if we take this concept, which is allowed ev even in AL, that all role fillers must be from the complement of C and we put a negation outside there, then you should work out and see that this is equivalent to saying that there exists at least one role filler who comes from a class C essentially. So, this is a new thing in ALC. You will also see that the relation that is there in AL, which means there exists an R which comes from a class T is subsumes this particular role essentially. That simply says that you must have at least one role filler. This says that you must have at least one role filler from class C essentially. So, that is something new we can say here. It is more specific than AL. The other thing as you can see is that because you can negate concepts, you can take take this and this will give us the union of the two concepts. So, that is the second new thing that we are allowed here. All this is because we are allowed to negate or take the complement of compound concepts. Then we add 
the symbol n which stands for number essentially number restrictions so here the top line as you can see is basically alc what we have two new things here or here that we can add number restrictions to that so we have seen that already that uh, this is the min cardinality and the other one is the max cardinality at most and at at least n roll fillers or at most n roll fillers but we are not allowed to talk about the category here so you can talk of category and saying that all roll fillers must come from class c or at least one should come from class c but when you talk about numbers you can say that you have at, at most so many roll fillers or at least so many roll fillers we cannot talk about class c and this is in this particular language alcn we can uh, also talk about individuals being the same or not being the same then we have stroik so remember q stands for qualified number restrictions so we have this now and we have this now which was not there in the alcn that we saw just now also we can talk about roll inverses here so that r has come in because of that and we can enumerate sets here so we can define enumerated sets so the t box is still the same basically we talk of subsumption and equivalence in the a box we can as before say this but we can also say this that it doesn't belong to the relation ab and this we saw earlier also in the r box we can talk about relations between uh, roles so one role is subsumed by r is subsumed by s or r is equivalent to s or you can compose r1 r2 and that is subsumed by s or r and s are disjoint roles uh, or r is a reflexive role or r is a irreflexive role essentially so as we move further in this hierarchy of languages or we can express more and more things essentially next we will look at uh, some expressions in in description logic some sentences that we can express in description logic but let's do that in the next session